Okay. How's it going, everybody? My name is Softline, and today we are um, back with Scratch. Um, I haven't done this in a while, um, kind of because I, I, I kind of, I kind of felt like my last project was really stupid, and I was younger back then, so um, don't need that in the video. Um, but um, today we're just gonna start working on a project. Um, I'm not, this isn't like a tutorial or anything. This is me um, basically just putting my knowledge of Scratch and how to code in Scratch and of coding out there um, so that if anybody who wa watches this video knows how to do something better, um, knows how to guide me in any way, that they can, you know, guide me and um, give me pointers, give me tips so that I can just grow. Um, as a coder on Scratch, and just as a coder in general, because um, I did take a coding class, um, but you know my bird brain, I can't really remember a whole lot of stuff that much, or that easily, so um, let's get right to the project. I'm going to go with something that's familiar. I'm going to go with um, a tank game, because it just makes it just makes sense. You know, it's really easy to make the tank move separate from the head, you know, the face, uh, the, the, that shoots ball and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we'll just get right into that. Um, tank game. I'm just going to name it tank game. The first thing I'm going to try and do is make a, um, A frames per second um, timer thing. I don't really know what you call it. Um, a set. I'm going to set the frames. I'm going to have set frame, um, which is going to be um, 120 or like 60 frames a second. How about, how about that? That's the, that's that's good. 60 frames a second. Um, I am going to pause and then unpause, um, when I'm farther along in the whole process and whatnot. Um, so I'm just going to go research how to do that and then I'll be back as soon as I have any progress. Okay. So I did some research and, um, I think I know how, um, I know how frames per second work. I just wanted to make sure that I knew how frames per second work. Um, it's just tied to time. So, um, I'm going to do the thing now. I'm going to do the thing now. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, I fixed a thing. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to make a variable, um, called X, lowercase X. And I'm going to make, um, well, I'm going to make a, um, what do I call this? Uh, I'm just going to name it computer. Because it's going to compute. This sprite is just going to compute things. So I'm just going to name it computer because it just makes fucking sense. Um, and at the very beginning, um, set X to 1. And... And then I'm going to make another variable called FPS. And I seriously do not know if this is the right thing to do. That's going to be called frames per second. None of these are going to be. Set the FPS to... Sixty? So the timer um I'm just gonna keep this the way it is. um I'm just gonna do the brain thing right now. I'm just gonna do the brain thing. There's still lag on my computer. I don't know how to take it away. It might just be this monitor or something which doesn't make sense. 
Although I am using uh, an HDMI extender because I don't have much. I I only have one HDMI port on my computer. Um, I'm I'm using a USB to HDMI extender, um, which might probably why. But um, anyway, talking if. Uh, so, at the very beginning, we're going to reset the fucking timer. Bow! Just off the bat, right? Um, and then we're going to set the variables and etc. So, if, um, I'm going to have greater than or equal to, that's why... Uh, X. I think this is how you do it. It makes sense to me. The second there's a second. Reset the timer. Um, second the timer. Reaches... X, reset the fucking timer. So, oh, I have to put forever. There. And it works. See? It works. See it right now. It works. Um, okay, yeah. Now that the frames per second thing is set up, I guess I can make it a different variable. Stop everything. Um, I think if I... That, but there we go. That's a little bit better. It's got less to think about. Um, I'm going to make a proc called... FTS... Uh, and it's going to run without the fucking screen refresh. It's going to run without screen refresh. So. Forever. Frames per second. There we go. Bow. Yeah. I don't think I did anything wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong, right? It's probably fine. I have, but, um, I did a lot of scratch work whenever I did go to the Wilson Talent Center because it helped me think about things. We did things on Scratch before we did things in C++ because Scratch was basically used as a thinking tool, um, which I fucking recommend. I really recommend that coders nowadays use Scratch as not to code something, but to think about something. Um, if you're like a hands-on person and you have uh, a hard time thinking about things when you're coding, use fucking Scratch. It was so awesome to do. It takes more time because you have to think about it in Scratch. Um, but just fucking do it, dude. It's so good. Sorry. Um... Yeah, well, now that we have the frames per second thing set up, I don't know why we have it, but, and I don't know how to implement it with the game, but fucking whatever, right? Um, now we're going to make the tank, and I'm going to pause and I'll make, I'll make the fucking body of the tank. Okay, so I've been thinking about how to make this, and I don't know how to make this. I don't know how to make a frame limiter for the specific game and implement it into the game. So I just, uh, I just kept going, and um, 
now I have the tank, and the tank can move. But I'm trying to... Uh, right now, what I'm trying to do, also the tank rotates and follows the thing and whatnot. And, um, it has this bob. Uh, I can... If you see, it has this bob that it is. Um, because the head and the uh, body are separate entities. Uh, they're separate sprites. And so um, there's a slight delay. Like the following of the... The head following the body isn't instantaneous. There's a slight lag. But I'm going to keep the lag because it kind of makes sense. It makes sense. So I'm just going to keep the lag. What I'm trying to do right now is set the speed to the size. So if the player size is 40, then it sets the tank movement is 2.5. But if the player size is literally 100, then it's 10. And I don't know how to do that. Um, so I'm figuring that out. If size... is Yeah, I don't know how to do that. So I don't, yeah, I don't know how to do that. I'm, like, frozen right now. Um, geez. This is really hard for me to think about, because math, and I fucking suck at math. I've always sucked at math. Um, and this is a bunch of math. This is a bunch of math. Um, let's think about this. Let's really think about this. to player size is 40 divided by 2 20 4 10 6 ah oh, um 8 10, 12, 14, um, the floor, um, the round of 14. This, but round. Um, 16? That's 76. 16? Eighteen. And I guess we don't need that because we can then boom, right? So, oops. It's so slow. I don't like it. All right. So. Plus point five. 
plus 0 0.5. 2.5, which is 2.5, right? So what if it's like 52? 3.5. What if it's 98? 5.5. And what if it's... No. Okay, so we can't round the player size. Two point two infinite three. The I think uh seventeen. Um sixteen point five. Two four two four three. Blah, 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 blah. Um let's take out this and Round fourteen, probably fourteen, fourteen, three to seven. So player size a hundred. It it can't be divided by. What if I? What if I square root 100? 10. What if it's 40? 6. Okay. Okay. I think I could work with that. The square root of the thing. Right? Yeah, I could work with that ish. And then 100. That's too fast for me. That's too fast for me. Ten. It's too fast for me. So the maximum I want is like five if it's up close. Well, I don't want it to be... That's the thing. I don't want it to be that fucking size anyway. Um, sorry, that was a call. Um, in all reality, let's do about 50. 50... Um, 50... No. Yeah, 50 to like fifty to forty. Fifty to forty is good. The square root of the player size. No. Player size divided by 5 should do it or something. Divided by 5. Um, nope. Divided by 6. Eight to 6. There we go. Um, well, we'll scrap that idea. Um, we'll scrap that idea. Fuck it. Um, it's just going to be constantly like five. It's just going to be constantly five. Um, we don't need that. Um, We don't need it to be that, um, what do you call it, that in-depth. Um, we don't need it to be that in-depth. Uh, what next? 
Um, so we've got the computer in the works. In the works. Um, basically, I want this to be uh, the frame limit of the entire game. So everything in the game runs off the frame limit. Um, when I did coding class, um, I was taught that that just makes the game work better. It just makes the game work better. Um, so, um, oh, uh, next, I think we're going to work on the different costumes. Um, shooting bullets, I guess. We're just, we're just gonna fucking shoot bullets. Right? Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna duplicate it, it's gonna be tank 2, but then I'm gonna, sh I'm just gonna, boop, boop, boop. And then this is going to be, back, right? And then I'm just gonna, Duplicate all this. One, two, three. Duplicate. One, two, three. Duplicate. One, two, three. Until this is like over here. And basically, I'm going to have it go from one to the bottom number and back down, back up to one. Um, and that's how I'm going to do that animation because it's really, really simple. Woo! 35 that's a 35 35 times 2 frame um animation right there that is wow that is whoosh. okay so um i'm just going to um Movement. Movement. There we go. This is going to bam. And there's going to be an if. Let's say space. Um, space is pressed. Then. Okay, so we're going to do. Make a variable for this sprite only. Uh, shot frames. Shot frames. We're going to set shot frames to zero. And then Um, so basically, the shot frame is going to be a plus one. So, the first shot is shot one, is frame one plus zero, so it's frame one. And then, um, and then frame two is uh, basically going to... And make it to where it counts up and down without me having to fucking. Um. Basically. Repeat. 35 times. Switch to costume. Costume number is equal to so the sh uh, uh, let me rethink this. Um, shot frames is um, the costume number. 
I, I didn't. I forgot that that was there. Um. So switch to tank. Switch to. Switch costume to shot frames, and then change shot frames by one. Supposed to repeat 35 times. Um, this is run without f screen refresh. I'm going to do this as run without screen refresh. Let's see. Okay. So now what if I add what if I add this? Boom. Just like that, huh? Edit. Don't run without screen refresh. Um shit. Well, I'll come back when I think of something. Twenty three. Oh, this sucks. Two. Fucking one. Good. Lord have fucking mercy. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> if this does not work, I'm going to be pissed. Um. Boom. Literally down to 35. And then back up to one. One, literally just one to one. How? How? Okay, um, I'm gonna have to fucking make a variable of wait time. Wait time. So the fucking set wait time. To fucking point zero, literally less than fucking zero, and now I have to do this. I'm just gonna do this. It's too fucking point. Literally all of the fucking zeros in the entirety of existence. One. Literally all of them. All of them. Nothing. Good fucking god. Okay. I am definitely going to need... Um... Okay, guys. I'm definitely going to need that, um... Frame limiter for this project, um, or this is not going to be possible. <laughs> this is not going to be possible if I do not have that um, frame limiter. So I've saved the project. I'm going to go out of the project. Um, if you like the video, leave a comment down below. Like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified of another one of my videos. Um, there will be a link to my Patreon in the description down below. There's a $3 and a $6 option. There will also be a link to my Discord. If the Discord does not work, just fucking tell me, and I will give you a link myself. Um, okay, um, just checking the camera. Um, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, we need a frame limiter. Uh, I need to know how to do a frame limiter, and once I do know how to do a frame limiter, I can implement that into this project. Um, the whole point of this making these videos is not only to help me learn how to do this stuff in Scratch, but it's also to, I guess, create a, a group project, I guess, for the entire community. Um, Basically to like, honestly, it's to get people to 
fucking interact with my channel. Because if you're still watching to the end, to this point, fucking congrats. Because apparently most people just go into the video, say, eh, and then jump out of the video, which is fine. You know, my videos aren't, you know, up to quality with, uh, they're not up to par with like fucking Markiplier or something. Um, but, you know, I guess this is just, this is just for people to, uh, if, if you've gone to this far and you know what I need and you know how to do what I need to do, just tell me and then I will do that in the next episode. And with that being said, I will see all you guys in the next video. Later.